Today, we're exploring the Dual Extrusion Wizard in Simplify 3D, which will help you create high-quality dual-color prints. It can be found in the Tools menu. I've imported this dual-color vase model. If you're new to Dual Extrusion, let me point out that you need to have two separate STL files, one for each color. With my vase, which has these vertical stripes here, you can see that there are two distinct parts that will fit together. And as I walk through the wizard, you'll see exactly how that happens. So let's open the wizard by going to Tools, Dual Extrusion Wizard. This window will help us configure the basic settings for this print. Here is where we can see which printer we're using. If you don't have any profiles loaded that are capable of dual extrusion, you'll receive a warning message while trying to open the wizard, so make sure to use the Configuration Assistant to load a dual extrusion profile first. Today, I'm using the FlashForge Creator Dual. Although I have many other printer profiles loaded into the software, only my dual extrusion printers are showing up in this list. I have two spools of ABS loaded onto my machine, so I'll also need to change the material configuration. This will heat both my extruders to the proper temperature for ABS. Now, if you have some other combination of materials that you want to use, for example, red ABS with blue PLA, you would first have to add that into your profile's material configuration, similar to what we've done here with PLA for the right and PVA for the left, but we'll cover that in a different video. Here is where the wizard has automatically chosen which part will print with which extruder, but if I wanted to print part one of my vase with a left extruder, I could easily change that here. There's one other aspect of the wizard I want to point out because it has some powerful functionality. We've talked about grouping and aligning models in previous videos, but this little checkbox makes it even easier. When I click OK, you'll see that the wizard has aligned and grouped the two parts together so they act as one model. As we've discussed in previous videos, if I now want to move or scale or even rotate my model, because the models are grouped, they stay locked together. You can also see that two processes have been created, one for each color, and they've even been grouped to make them easier to work with. We've talked about the advantages of grouped processes in an earlier video. So now we'll click Prepare to Print to go into the preview mode. We obviously want to print both colors, so we leave both processes selected. Now every time you're doing dual extrusion, I recommend changing the coloring in the preview mode to show the active tool head, so you can verify which tool head is printing which part of the model. So if we zoom in on our part here, you can see that the blue represents tool zero, which is the right extruder on my printer, and green represents tool one, which is typically the left extruder. Now you may notice that the shape of this model looks just a little bit different in the preview. This is because of the ooze shield, a feature that forms an external shell around your dual extrusion prints for the purposes of catching any oozing filament. And you can just throw it away after the print is complete. The ooze shield is standard for all of Simplify 3D's dual extrusion profiles. Here's a time lapse of what the model looks like as it prints. You can clearly see the ooze shield being constructed around the part. And here's the finished product. As you can see, the ooze shield comes right off. Looking more closely at the ooze shield, you can see all these little strings and blobs along the side. The ooze shield keeps all of these defects from appearing on your print. As you can see, this part printed with crisp definition between colors, and it looks great. So next time you want to print in two colors, the Dual Extrusion Wizard in Simplify 3D will get you there in just a few clicks.